Hello. How are you? Chris Bump for the channel. Your mate told you to try and keep a straight face today. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm a bit sleepy and it's probably waking you up. <laughs> We're in a posh car today. And I've noticed it's missing the uh, clutch pedal. <laughs> Edition 30 Mark V Golf GTI. Yeah, that's right. It's not standard. No. <laughs> Umar spent a small fortune on this car. It's currently 553 horsepower and 505 torques. That's a lot of power, man. Umar's got a bit of a wreck. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but he's, a, he's like John of Birmingham from what I hear. Yeah, I am quite well. <laughs> What's that for? Meth. For meth? Yeah. Oh, we got meth. What have you spent in total with the with the cost of the car? 26 grand. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Us car modifiers no, no. spending all our money. Predominantly, most of the sort of tuning work was done by Artec. Yeah. And Artec are sort of very well renowned in like the VW, yeah. Audi scene, yeah, of sort of the VAG yeah. stuff. Yeah. Bottom end's done oil pump, all that's done, 40 Fords, big end bearings, uh, top end's done as a super tech man. And you, and you got cam cams in it yeah, as well? Yeah, just slightly bigger cams as well. you got obviously different intake on it, 3 inch exhaust from yeah, turbo turbine inch, back. Yeah. No cat in it, it converts, no. no sports cat or anything. <laughs> front disc on the on back, the back yeah, which is right. sick man yeah. you haven't actually got core overs you've got like no. big shocks and springs yeah yeah build, so build it's stone shocks and springs e back springs um, obviously the back's slightly higher to just to keep the traction yeah, yeah. so you've like you set it up like a freaking drag yeah. car man yeah, it's got so much power yeah. you've got upright in front and rear anti-roll bars yeah. you poly bush pretty much the entire yeah. car you put a lot of money not just into the power but into the Constantly. chassis and how it, also, how it handles key. I mean, you take the traction control off it goes crazy <laughs> <laughs> for a little bit with the traction on and make sure Umar's right, let's go white. I'm gonna have to drive with you though, you're a bit of a John, I'm gonna be scared when you're driving man. So this is a little third gear forward to see what it's about.
from up to 1.9. Okay, so what's the limitation with these boxes? I mean, obviously it's handling this power. Can you upgrade these DSG boxes um, or, or not really? Okay. Um, obviously mine is stuck at the minute. Obviously not a lot of people are going to believe it's stuck, but um, a lot of people go for manuals, wave track and whatnot. Obviously manuals are going to need it regardless. Yeah, yeah, but sure. Feel the back. That's why it's so quick today, bro. Umar's Instagram as well. If you guys want to give him a cheeky little follow. Like we mentioned before, you've got the RS3 calibers in the back with the 340 mil drill disc. Looking pimp. The same setup on the uh, on the front. Team Dynamics Pro Sport 1.2s front and back. Edition 30 badge. You know she's a a rare steed. They look super spandangly. If I come down here, you guys can see all the. LED conversion which looks really nice. That's your meth tank in the back. We're not gonna even mention why it's got that here. <laughs> We've got these nice little side skirt pieces down here as well. That's aftermarket, that's yeah, that's, still stuck that's the one. edition 30 bit. It's not a huge amount to look at because really the manifold and the turbo is actually all Covered right at the back yeah. of the engine, isn't it? It's literally just there. Okay. And that heat shield is you put you put yeah, on there yourselves? Just to kind of stop the heat, so yeah, yeah, fair play to you. This is the AKS pipe, then we've got a Revo filter down here. That's the solenoid for your meth. Intercooler is nicely, nicely sort of behind the grill. Quite a tight fit by the looks of it, but where it needs to be, loads of cool there. Got your R8 coil packs. This is very common on like a lot of 2JZs and RBs now. A lot of people use these coil packs. So you said here is a high pressure fuel pump. And then what about in the back? What fuel pump have you got? TTRS. Buckety Golf. Seats with the um, like Tartan, which is like a classic sort of VW thing. DSG gear stick. When you rewire, because you've got uh, rest control in here, haven't you? The left green one, yeah, when it blinks, is yeah, when it's so running the low. The right one is a switch on. Ah, and then you can switch on and off. Ah, oh, I got you, man. Got your little edition 30 uh, sort of bits on the sills. That's your steering wheel, and you've got like multi function buttons on the steering wheel as well. R32 clocks, which he's swapped over, and they're blue instead of red. Got Mark 6. Are heated controls. Oh, this is from a Mark. Oh, yeah. That's different because you are yeah. right. It's got this more sort of like piano blacky yeah, bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sick. What's a run flap delete kit? Uh, it's in the manifold. This keeps the manifold open and let it go through. Oh, okay. <laughs> from obviously Umar's from Burnham and they've got a really cool um, sort of car scene out there a lot of like street racing goes on same with Coventry and Cobb they've got a lot of cool stuff Dudley as well isn't a million miles away and like you said as well like it is a, it's a nice place to be but the suspension is stiff but it's not like bone shattering oh look S body look at that completely stock S14 
credit to you, man. This car is is next level. It's a sort of daily car. You can daily this, but yeah, I mean, it really is absolutely rapid. This thing. Well, that just about brings this car review to a close. We we, we survived. Thank God. Same. What about John? <laughs> Massive thanks to you all for bringing the video down. It's been a really enjoyable day, and um, yeah, car's fantastic. If you guys have got any sort of mad golfs or Audis or anything in the sort of VAG group and you want to get it on the channel, feel free. And yeah, big love to Umar. Like I always say, make sure you give the video a like, it really helps the owl go. Chuck any comments down below, I always do my best to get back to you. And me and Umar look forward to seeing you soon. Bye, guys.